that you are in a relationship mm. but kuna bestie uh, you know bestie of the opposite sex yes <laughs> Pearl Radio, the home of fresh and classic hits. I am Anne Mwitiriri. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my name. I am born again. I am married to Fred Mwitiriri, mother of uh, three daughters. Um, happily doing life, happily doing marriage. I am a happy wife. That is also becoming an identity. Mm-hmm. And that is why I like to claim that you know happy wife <laughs> you call it <laughs> yeah. happy wife because it makes a big part of my life and i'm uh, a founder yeah. of um, a network organization called shispark where actually my my personal mission in that network is to to do everything possible mm. to make wives happy mm. yes amazing amazing <laughs> that is awesome now Let's get started with this, you know, mm. friendship with us with with your sweetheart. You know, we were looking for a specific word to do this. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> uh, but you decided, you know what, let us settle with this. Yeah. So even as we uh, start from that point, maybe let us define this to someone who is listening that what mm. do we mean when we say friendship with your sweetheart? Um when we say friendship with your sweetheart, we mean what do you have between the two of you beyond what we call a relationship mm. and i say this because uh usually we see a relationship okay usually when we mention relationship we're talking about a uh, boy girl relationship so this girlfriend of yours this boyfriend of yours yeah uh, or even your wife or your husband what do you have beyond the being a wife and being a husband or to you what is encompassed in in your being in that relationship so there's romance um uh the romantic bit is the one actually that makes you call someone your girlfriend or your boyfriend mm. and yeah disclaimer i've been a teacher of english also i really don't like it when we try to manipulate the the, the word girlfriend or boyfriend to say he's just a boy who's friend no, the <laughs> actual <laughs> meaning of a boyfriend yeah. is that one boy with whom you don't just share friendship but you have a romantic uh, aspect to it. Yes. So the issue of friendship in this relationship means beyond being in a romantic relationship, what else do you have? Friendship is way broader. Friendship means a connection that is, you know, very much wider than just the romance, which means you are in each other's interests, you are in each other's needs, you are in each other's lives as a whole you are not just interested in that emotion we call love that spark of romance that's what we're talking about do you share a life as friends wow amazing do you share a life as friends you know uh we have been ha- listening we've been actually there's this notion that people say in this phrase mm. marry your friend yeah marry your friend uh. Why, why should we say why should we marry our friends you know mm. you know when someone who is going to respect <laughs> to respect me <laughs> you, you see, and that's the mistake yeah. who said a friend should not respect you mm. who said so uh even your friends can go wrong and fail to respect you yeah so friendships yokuzoyana it's I, I think we have it wrong in the definition of friendship to begin with yeah friendship sh- uh, <laughs> shio, shio yeah. that's that's not what we are calling friendship yeah those are just aspects of friendship that we are using to define friendship and then we make friendship look bad and then we make it look like it will ruin the respect it will ruin um that place of he doesn't see me as the baby girl who needs to be taken out and you know yeah no 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 yeah friendship is is really you've connected with this person to a level where uh actually to get to your question why marry your friend is because you already have a connection that will help with the romance mm-hmm. that will help with even living with each other because when you eventually marry and you are living with each other you need 
to really understand the other person very well if you don't understand the other person very well of course this even na- even when we have friendship and we understand each other so much there's still chaos here and there so you can imagine if you do not have a friendship with this person you do not understand where this person is coming from you don't understand their needs you don't understand what they are interested in you have not learned actually friendship um gets you to learn to respect uh, the other person's personality the other their different interests the interests that could be different uh from yours but if you come into a relationship and um you are looking just at uh, okay for lack of a better word the heart mm-hmm. you know pale kwa lavidavi pale peke peke yake uh i think you'll have it wrong because you can't dwell there forever yeah this person has a whole life around them what else are you doing in their life you know what other area of your life can you come into because if, i mean like they go to work for example mm-hmm. when they come back from work can they tell you stuff from work or are you disinterested clueless nothing and i'm not saying you have to understand their work entirely yeah but at least you know what makes them happy mm-hmm. what makes them sad you know what kind of bosses they like mm-hmm. what kind of bosses they don't like and so you you have a life together mm-hmm. so if that person comes home tired or, and you you are still able to engage you, basically israel what i'm saying is do you have a life together <laughs> <laughs> do you have a life yeah because i think uh, uh, most people they just assume uh, marriage or even relationship it's all about romance and everything but there is that as unapata like as in uh, and one want to state this categorically mm-hmm. because it happens yeah. that you are in a relationship mm-hmm. but kuna bestie uh, you know bestie of the opposite sex yes okay she do it you know you start like as in i come here you know babe i love you but you know israel is my friend you know I love you but you know I also you know Israel like Israel ni bestie yangu you know we talk a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> so um, should, should it sit well with you as as the boyfriend or the girlfriend when you know uh, your spouse tells you you know what uh, there is this best friend of mine and I'm with her bestie bestie <laughs> Yeah una nikasirisha Is it true na sema sina nikasirisha Um uh, I'll, I'll try to be calm about this Yeah <laughs> Um uh, I was I was just looking at this matter of friendship mm-hmm. and and I was thinking again there's the complexity of should I have friends if I am investing so much in this one friend mm-hmm. the truth is you can't expect too much from you know your partner your spouse yes but they can be your number one friend um because having a life with someone like I'm saying about even defining friendship as just having a life yeah. with someone and that means that you are recognizing mm. that a life means a lot of things yes. a life means work it means what i like what i don't like my my history where i'm coming from my family so having a life with each other then that means you really prioritize this friendship above other friendships yes and it also means that in the process of having a life with each other you get such an emotional connection and actually this is the emotional connection that helps to keep the fire burning yeah um those of us who are married for <laughs> many years i've yeah. been married for nine years now and and i believe there are others who can give the same testimony uh some of those things we imagined of you know cuddling all day <laughs> every day 247 <laughs> is a nice dream <laughs> it's 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 a really really nice dream yeah and and not to discourage yeah. anyone <laughs> <laughs> it gets better there are really really many good days yes but that is not all you depend on mm-hmm. it's not 
it's not yeah we depend on a lot of other things in the relationship but because we have a life together because i understand this man mm. and even now i don't understand him fully and that's the joy of marriage that we keep even learning each other as the years go by and yes. i don't expect that i will never i will ever know him a hundred percent there's always something new to learn because he is also not at the peak of his life for example you know mm, yes. so there's still a lot to learn but you see we have such an emotional connection and, and the emotional connection we get from having a life with each other sharing so much of our lives with each other is what helps us cuddle well not all day every day yeah. but it helps it gives us more hours of cuddling yes. because then there is a we develop a lot of trust we develop a lot of telepathy sometimes i just want to be held mm -hmm. And 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 I love it when I know he can tell it. He can tell that I'm not being able to express myself or I'm just troubled and and I'm even probably I've even fallen asleep, but I really, really needed to just be held. And if we didn't have a life together, if we were not sharing a lot of other things, yeah. he, he barely understands me, barely knows me, I wouldn't ever get that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's um it's weird to talk of a bestie which means you're prioritizing that friendship which means you're taking a lot of emotional energy to that friendship and then that brings the controversy of what are you developing mm -hmm. with the bestie nana mm jutakana -hmm. sana but ukweli tu isemwe there is something called emotional infidelity and emotional infidelity um one time you know one way or another it will end up as physical infidelity True. and even if it doesn't end up as physical infidelity what you are doing is you are being unfaithful to your spouse emotionally because they need you but emotional energy yako yote umepelekea besti huyo ndio analalia kifua yako ukilalia yake because you besti i mean one good definition of a best friend is the shoulder you cry on yes. and and by the time you're coming back to your hubby ah kutu sawa uko fresh you know <laughs> Wewe machozi yako roho yako tu umemwagilia huko kwa besti akiwoyea hapana. Then you could just have just have the friends, you know? Mm -hmm. Just have many friends and let this guy be one of your friends. Uh, but don't marry someone. And when it comes to marriage or if you're getting into a relationship with a view of marriage which is which is what I imagine we do mm -hmm. as Christians, the, you are coming in to have a to be one with this person how are you being one with this person but there's another friendship somewhere that takes precedence over this one wow it, it doesn't make sense to wow. me it really doesn't it's to respect you mm -hmm. if you have friends who cannot listen to you um that's that that says something about the kind of friendships that you are entertaining yes for me friendship does not mean that people we do not respect each other no it means people that we are vulnerable to each other we are free with each other but then there are people who value me that's why i'm their friends yes so which means that when i speak they actually listen we draw from each other mm. and i i even even um beyond my marriage those are the kind of friendships i want to have friendships where and 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 um i will echo the words of uh okay i've forgotten his name he, he spoke at a conference somewhere and he was saying how we need to build on our friendships with the the acknowledgement that you cannot expect everything from one person yes yeah mm -hmm. so there's this person who makes you really laugh and probably that's all they bring into their into your life yeah. okay mm. ako uko shago probably but he's a really funny guy mm. like when you go to shago you just want to hang around him yeah that's what he brings into your life mm. he's a friend he he adds value to you it does not mean you disrespect him or he disrespects you yeah so it depends on the kind of friendships you're having mm. so have valuable friendships people who you are free with you can do anything with you vulnerable with each other but you respect each other you value each other so when it eventually ends up as a as a um, romantic relationship that part of the friendship will be valuable yeah. for your relationship and apparently most of uh, the relationship that are doing well mm. they actually started from a point of friendship exactly you know e yes 
but also on the flip side that those friends like they have been friends but they when they try to get into a relationship it's not working um yeah and sometimes it's because of the kind of friendship that they had mm -hmm. i think we need to to develop good friendships like you know who do you who are these people you call your friends mm -hmm. You know, what value do you bring into each other's lives? So if being friends for so long is just you were hanging out together for so long, but uh, you don't even know, you know, you, you don't know very much about this person. You, you're not interested in their world because being interested in someone's world is a sign that uh, you feel it can be of help to you. To know, you want to be of help, but you also feel it's valuable to get to know about their world, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So even as you hang out, as you have fun, how much more is there to that, yeah? So that by the time it ends up in a romantic relationship, um, it's the, the value remains. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying just because you hang out with someone for so long or you laugh together, then that's a friend worthy of mm, a relationship. Yes. It needs to be a proper friendship that has value so that you bring it into a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that is the point where we need to know how to define that, you know, uh, this this friendship that we have, is it going to lead to something? You know, there is someone that right now, mm. they have this female friend or male friend and they'll be like, uh, how, how do I know? You know, maybe they are afraid to make that move, but, mm. you know, like, uh, is it going to work? And we have mm. this particular a feeling of uh, having like is it going to work or not mm. and I think it is very very important for us to address that some of those signs that tell you that this is uh, you know in as much it is friendship you know mm. some of the things that you can cultivate you know and to know that this friendship indeed can lead to marriage mm. there are people who have been friends they love together mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 but they're not in a relationship and sometimes they even come and share the experiences they've had with the sons of Pharaoh mm -hmm, and the daughters mm -hmm. of Jezebel. <laughs> and then now they come and, you know, they comfort each other. Mm. But now they don't really know if they're meant for each other. How do we, how do we now remove, how actually do we get to know that this, this person, it's very important for us to address this because there are people right now that are in, 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 in they have friends mm. of uh, the opposite gender mm. and uh, they might think that, you know what, maybe, maybe God is saying, you know, just God you know, is, maybe God is um, saying something. Yeah. <laughs> Why have we been friends for so long? <laughs> <laughs> so <I'll, laughs> I want to help that person who is listening. Hey. They have this friend, but mm. they really don't know if, if mm. this is the right person for them. Mm. So how can you help that person? So even even if we say that friendship is very important in a relationship yes. or a marriage, uh, remember, we still said then, how do you differentiate this friend who you are with in a relationship and the other friends? Mm. Hence, the whole bestie thing just not making sense to me mm. when you have um, a, a, a spouse who should be, your, you know, your first friend. And so, uh, these aspects go hand in hand. There is a friendship, but the reason this particular friend, you are ending up in a relationship or even in marriage is because there is something now more than just being friends so i would ask you israel on behalf of that person you're trying to help <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know <Yeah. laughs> because friendship is important yes yeah. but um honestly that chemistry is also is, is also important you know yeah because we were saying the friendship eventually it does help to keep the chemistry alive to keep on sparking the chemistry to help you when the chemistry is not chemistry yeah but uh first of all lazima kukwena ka chemistry so that you end up in a romantic relationship with someone so that's one thing to look on the other thing is um like i said friends are different yeah there's this friend who really just makes you laugh namnaishi miana too in the sense that me i love that this person is really funny but what do you want in a marriage? Uh, so this person has humor. This person is probably um, handsome or beautiful, no problem. But what else do you want in marriage? Marriage is a complex, uh, is, is a more complex place than 
just friendship because yes. now you become one with this person so you really also have to be clear about what you want in a marriage and does this friend however friend they are however much of a friend they have been for however long mm. do you think they will offer or do they have what you want in a husband or in a wife and uh, this brings me to value system and this is one of the things that uh, really matters in uh, friendships for relationships that you know the value system of this person and you like it or you appreciate it and you merge like we we can be able to be one with this person because vitu zenye tunatofautiana are not a matter of life and death but values are so important that for you to consider a friendship that ends up in marriage then this friend has to really share values with you yes this friend also has to believe in marriage in a certain way that it will work for you guys mm-hmm. so just because they are your friend doesn't mean they believe the same way as you their view of marriage b- might be extremely different from yours so um please check yes this is a friend and they might be capable of remaining a friend after you have married somebody else who now is good for marriage for you and nisema mambo ni matatu matatu la tatu oh you said this person who the friend has been a friend for a village and you're asking god are you saying something yeah. <laughs> are you saying something <laughs> Yeah, they have a history but there is no chemistry. Eh, we have a history na skia. Ka chemistry si juka ni mimi na force issues. Ama kako. But Lord, I feel like this friendship has been here for so long. I don't feel like I want to invest in another friendship like this. As a Christian. As a Christian. What is the Lord saying? Mm. You know the good thing, uh, the beautiful thing about uh being a believer is that you have the audacity to to believe that you can hear from the lord personally and then you have the right to hear from the lord personally yes and god speaks in many ways and i'm not here for a sermon mm. so in those many ways that you had in that sermon yeah. <laughs> of that preacher who said how do you hear god mm-hmm. then ask god is this the person that's the third thing so let uh, i i there is those things of forcing issues because you're feeling chemistry and maybe it's just in in infatuation yes yeah mm. uh, there is forcing issues because you feel fatigued you don't want to invest in another friendship and you're 30 years old and you feel like you're close enough with this person but your values align and what does the lord say maybe god has someone in store for you who will give you great friendship great a great romantic uh, relationship and also will give you an easier time in marriage because they actually believe in the things you believe about about marriage yeah, yeah. and maybe that friend is a john is, is like john the baptist uh, what do you mean like john <laughs> the baptist is preparing the way <laughs> yeah maybe this friend kaziake by the way is to prepare the way <laughs> preparing the way for the for the greater for one. the real yeah for the real one now <laughs> yeah <laughs> but also mm. uh, even as we talk about uh, friendship in in, in relationship yeah mm. that the, there are these people who actually they you know it was love at first sight now they're in a relationship yeah? yeah so they never got that particular chance to you know actually mm. uh to do you know to to be friends you know mm. they actually just dived straight into 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 relationship mm. yeah mimi nilikuona niko na vonyona nini and then now they are in a relationship <laughs> some of them even they are married right mm. now so how do now do they cultivate that in a relationship now they that they have right now and also for those who are in marriage even mm. for those who are planning mm. some of them maybe right now they are planning for a wedding but uh, mm. you know you know one thing about dating is that mm. we we don't we we usually lie a lot we put the right foot ha, forward sana atukwambiange tuki struggle uh, tunaka nene za ingia kwa ndoa na ienda ende hiyo <laughs> <laughs> hiyo the right foot forward yes. <laughs> inaweza enda enda na inaweza kupeleka peleka yeah. <laughs> uh, so how do we cultivate now this in 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 a relationship setup and also mm, in marriage i feel you very good question <laughs> yeah. i'm speaking like a lecturer right now <laughs> very good question is well <laughs> so, i call it a good question because yeah um 
so I, I used to I used to do interviews for couples uh, at Parents Magazine for a column called mm -hmm. uh, Marriages That Last, and I got to interview very old couples uh, because I wasn't interviewing couples that were less than 15 years in marriage. Yes. And so you can imagine these are people of Teneki Asi. And there is many of them who did not get the chance we have today of dating. They, those days they didn't have that dating for a long time and so on. And there's actually this particular couple that uh, <laughs> I remember. It was very funny that th when the guy first approached the, the girl, he didn't even like, it was not romantic at all. Alimfotaki in the shop. Akamombi, I would like you to be the mother of my children. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Uh, um, you know, the audacity. Which era is that now? I know. No, they've been married for like early 20, early 20 something years. Yeah. So not very far away, but then, you know, the, uh, during that, like 20 years ago, people were still struggling with this whole idea of. Uh, dating, you know, yeah. and it it was just weird to date, and and so there was a lot of straightforwardness. But I learned one thing from them: they didn't even uh, um, they didn't date for too long, but they dated. But the one thing I know that they did, and I met, I saw this with a lot of those couples that I interviewed, mm -hmm. is that once they were in the marriage, they cultivated a friendship. Wow. They cultivated a friendship. So yes, I'm in love with you. I feel this chemistry, ni ni ni. But to kingia kwando wa e chemistry na e love, kagiri umeowa. Unajua kiterix. Yeah. Someone yeah. sometimes. Yeah. 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 You know? Yes. And so you know it mm -hmm. it, it, it um, carry the marriage through. Yes. And so they have intentionally cultivated on a friendship. Mm -hmm. How do you cultivate on a friendship? If you go back to how we defined a friendship as just having a life together, it means that you are getting into each other's lives beyond the romance, beyond the marriage bed. Do you have each other in each other's lives? You get? Yes. Like I I, I usually um really joy in the fact that Nasemanga, uh, I can appear at my husband's place of work if I was able to put on his face mm. <laughs> and his height and like I could appear there and they don't know. Yeah. Because I, I know his colleagues, I know where he sits. Like Nikingi Aponita Anasemanga Nakiti. I will know where yeah. I'm supposed to sit, you know. Because we are in each other's lives. And yeah. that is why when he comes in the evening and he comes in a bad mood, he doesn't feel like he has to start from so mm -hmm. that I understand where he's coming from, you know, because yeah. I already know his life, you know. So cultivating a friendship means you are getting into each other's lives mm -hmm. and there are things we cannot negate from here. Quality time wow. and communication. Deep conversations and quality time, you cannot cultivate a friendship without those. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not having time together, when will I ever know? You yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. We and that's why I tell even couples before they get married, Aki ye favorite colour, you know, your favorite food, um what school did you go to? What do you like? You yeah. know, men ni 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 oye date one, date two, date three by the fifth date. Unless you mm. usually change your favorite color so that you have a fresh conversation on those things. If, if you're a chameleon. <laughs> Unless you're a chameleon, you know. But get into deep conversation so that you understand each other. You understand someone's needs. And someone's needs, they don't even sometimes have to tell you what they need. You can tell it from the kind of life they're living. Mm. From the things they are telling you. From how they feel about someone on the road yeah from how they feel about the preaching today you mm. know and you cannot discuss the preaching today they cannot tell you spend if you pastor the floss kwa your pulpit unless after service you actually had time together and you got to say this and you got to realize mm, he doesn't like people who boast he know oh ah oh kumbe ana anapenda wakiambiwa ni wa beautiful you mm. know so, oh, so they like to be told they're beautiful you know so quality time has to be there communication has to be there yeah because how will i know if you don't tell me mm -hmm. how will i know if i'm not with you and you say something and i pick it quality time communication so there are couples who have spent a lot of time on that i personally 
Yes, my husband said it until I got used to it. Nilingia box in 11 days. <laughs> you know, we we'll talk about friendship is that it just reminds me of the things that we we, we do. You know, mm. one thing about about uh, you know, I usually say this that when you grow like as at when you feel like you're matured in a relationship, that mm. that is the moment that you need to wake up. Like as in marriage in a fakwa no total flani. You guys should be playing games. <laughs> <laughs> like as, yes. what I mean is mm. you should never lose that aspect of friendship yes. even if it's you, you, even if you can go and talk about everything you can gossip together like as in yeah. like yeah. as in talk about everything exactly don't feel like uh at like as in you have to uh, you know to hold back that stuck here mm. mm. so I think that aspect of being you know open and being you know op- be able mm. to communicate it is mm. very very important mm. and i think that is actually one one of the areas that people usually don't like to you know to to talk about you, yeah. you want to look like uh, we are professionals in marriage I know, <laughs> I know. and and actually a disclaimer israel is um and and uh, I, I wouldn't like you know when we speak about marriage we place ourselves on a certain pedestal that is very miraculous you yes know? like Yes, me in Ilingia Box in 11 days, but we cultivated a friendship because we talked a lot. We got into deep conversations. Ten relationships, your death sentence. Mm. You can get out, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you can fall in love, then realize, whoops, friendship is not happening here, and you can walk away. Yes. So if you're in that stage, uh, imagine you have permission to walk away and you know try something else. But the disclaimer is don't be frustrated just because you feel you don't have a certain level of friendship with mm-hmm. your spouse yeah you're already in there but ako kautoto israel anasemea una feel <laughs> hakako hakako una feel yeah. you can't freely because you've mentioned a very important thing there holding back so you feel like when you want to raise an opinion of a certain r- random thing you want to hold back because it's usually because of many things that happen in marriage including a lot of small small conflict and mm. big big conflict so you feel ataku judge because the last time you raised such an opinion you quarreled and it became personal and cut yourself some slack it happens it happens yeah. and you grow you grow with time you grow you realize it's not what you go back into it sometimes you need to cure that that ka problem which is we are judging each other too harshly mm-hmm. Ah, we are getting too personal. Ah, we need to be easy on each other. Yes. I need to actually listen to his opinion and respect that opinion rather than come at it as though yes. he is wrong. Mm. You know? Mm-hmm. So when you start curing those things, it gives you another chance at friendship. So imagine enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. And I know when I say enjoy, I'm talking about like, eh? enjoy what <laughs> <laughs> by enjoy i mean just appreciate yes. the fact that these are the waves of a relationship these mm-hmm. are the waves of marriage and the joy is in looking back and seeing growth yes and seeing that oh ah we were not being able to kitambo singe sema hivi na kuwe too relaxed ah kitambo nge sema hivyo he ninge waka moto ningeona ni mimi ana attack yes but now i can actually look ah now I can actually look at him and just see, oh, he sees things like that. Yeah. He is like that. This is where he's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. 96.9 FM, Pearl Radio.